Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matero NBA here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content. And with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install map editor. Just a reminder that this video is our updated version, so we're gonna get straight into the video. All you guys gotta do is download all of the requirements that's inside my description below. Once you guys have completed that, then download this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. And don't forget guys to download Visual C++ if you haven't. This is really, really important, so make sure you do install this as well. Once you guys have completed downloading and installing Visual C++, then we're going to get straight into it. But before we do, just to let you guys know, I've been going through the comments, okay, and everybody keeps saying that the F7 does not work, and their game keeps crashing, and so on, so on. So I'm here to help you guys, so let's get into it. Just to let you guys know that I'm starting this tutorial inside a clean folder. I will be starting all my tutorials inside a clean folder, so you guys can see the proof that it does work. So all you guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. As you guys can see that this is a complete clean folder, there's absolutely no mods in here. So we are going to start uh, this mod inside a clean folder. So since it is a clean folder, we need to go through Open IV. Go to Open IV. Go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. And just remember guys, I'm starting this tutorial inside a clean folder, okay? So you might already done, done this, okay? So Go to Tools, go to ASI Manager, and now install your ASI Loader. Install OpenIV.ASI, and then this will come up, just select Yes, and open Camera, Install, and Close. And then now you can close your OpenIV because we don't need to go in here anymore. Now, open up your game folder, and no, not my game folder. Right click, open file location. Now, as you guys can see, we got a mods folder on our main Grand Theft Auto V game folder. Now, we are going to install our requirements. So, open up your script or V extract folder. Make sure it is the latest version. And go into your bin folder and select then put 8.dll and script hook V. .dll, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up, just click on replace. Once you guys have completed that, then open up your script for v.net extract folder. Now with this ok guys, everybody been having problems with script for v.net. So you must select scripthookv.net.asi.ini and now select scripthookv.net2.dll and scripthookv.net2.xml do not select these two because these two are quite buggy okay just only select all these four files and then drag them all inside your Grand Theft Auto V game folder. And then that's all you guys gotta do. Do not install the three. And exit out of your extract folder. And now we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer V extract folder, also known as Simple Trainer. And now select trainer V.asi and .ini. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder 
open up your Minio extract folder and select Minio stuff folder and Minio.asi drag both files inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder now we are going to install our Squats folder all you guys gotta do is right click and refresh your folder right click again and create a new folder and name that folder scripts please remember to spell scripts properly with a s at the end press enter once and press enter again and you will be inside your scripts folder now all you guys gotta do next okay is go inside my description and in my downloads there will be um, a native UI version 1.7 make sure you guys do download that uh, 1.7 and now make sure that you guys uh, select native UI .dll, and then now just paste it inside your scripts folder so make sure you go in some of the description inside my downloads and download native UI .dll version 1.7 and then open up the extract folder and then now drag your native UI.dr file into your scripts folder and then that's all you guys got to do and then now once you guys have completed that then we are going to install the mod now all you guys got to do next okay is open up your map editor extract folder now select all of the files except for native ui okay and drag them all inside your scripts folder remember open up your map editor extract folder and select all the files except for native ui okay and then now exit out of your extract folder and that's all you guys gotta do now we have finished with that guys so all you guys gotta do next okay is just right click and refresh your folder and then right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and we are back as Franklin so as you guys can see we are in the game my game did not crash and we're gonna get straight into it okay so to open up the menu all you guys gotta do is press F7 so here we go in 5 4 3 2 1 and there you go see so you can but Unfortunately, I didn't load in a map, okay, a map mod, so, uh, but it does work, okay, um, all you guys gotta do is just press F7, and now there I go, see, so it does work, guys, there's nothing wrong with this mod, uh, but the only thing that you gotta do is um, install native UI version 1.7, and just make sure that you do not install scriptography.net 3 okay so don't install those uh, those files guys okay otherwise your game will keep crashing and you're having you'll be having problems okay and i'm just to let you guys know i'm very sorry for my english it's not really really um uh you know uh 100 there but um i'm trying my best okay so yeah guys that's how you guys that's how you guys install map editor and that's how you fix your L button and all the stress off your shoulders so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod so you guys I hope you guys do enjoy the mod okay don't forget if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then let me know in the comments I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out if you guys do get stuck installing other mods then let me know in the comments i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out with that one too so with that all said i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did then smash the like button and subscribe for more grand theft auto v pc modding tutorials and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out